everybody and thanks for tuning in. I'm Dean from Elementor and today we're going to dive into the new features that we just released in version 317. Uh, that includes Ajax loading for loop grids, the new rating widget, some performance enhancements, and some great new updates to the menu widget that I think you guys will love. So let's get started with the Ajax loading for loop grids. We're really excited about this one because it's the fourth most requested feature on uh, GitHub by the community. Um, so let's see how it works. So as a lot of you already know, when you want to change the pagination of a loop grid, you have to reload the entire page, as I just did right now. Um, with the new Ajax loading for loop grids, you can load the content of a loop grid without reloading the entire page. It's really great, and I'll show you it, how to do it on your loop grid. So we're going to click into the editor. We're going to make sure we're in our loop grid. And then you'll see you have the load type control over here. Open that drop down menu, click on Ajax. And we're going to see the changes in action. Notice how I can browse through this listing without having to reload the entire page. It's a much more smooth visitor experience, um, and we're happy you could do it. So another great thing about Ajax is that each um, pagination of your loop grid gets its own individual URL so visitors can share them or save them for later. Now, what happens if I want to make sure that the visitors see the entire loop grid whenever they change the pagination? Well, that's why we added the auto scroll feature. So clicking back into the editor, uh, we turn on the auto scroll feature and let's see how that works. Notice how every time I change the pagination, it automatically scrolls to the top of the loop grid. But what if I'm using a taxonomy filter over here, and I want to make sure that my visitors scroll all the way to the taxonomy filter and that that's included? Well, we can offset the auto scroll. And this will make sure that every time my visitor scroll changes pagination, it will also include the taxonomy filter. So that's great about Ajax pagination, but what happens if I have more than one loop grid or a loop grid and a post widget on the same page as I have on this page over here? Well, until now, every time I wanted to change um, a page of one loop grid, it would also affect the other loop grid. So I'd go to the second page of this loop grid over here, and it would take me to the second page of this loop grid. What I can do now is enable individual uh, loop grid pagination. So even if I want my second loop grid or uh, con to continue using a post widget, um, even if I want those to have the old loading method of the page reload, I could turn on individual pagination. And now every time I change the page of this loop grid, it will still reload the entire page, but it won't affect the loop grid over here. Um, and of course, every page still gets its own individual URL. So that's really great. And we're really happy about this feature and really excited that you guys get to use it on your websites as well. So the new rating widget is a improved version of the star rating widget that we all knew and loved. Um, it gives you more design flexibility to build the visual rating system that you want for your website. So let's click into the uh, editor and see how it works. I'm in my loop grid now, and what I'm going to do is add the rating widget to uh, my template right over here. And right off the bat, you can see where you get more design freedom. So the rating scale, instead of being a drop-down menu with two options, with a 1 to 5 rating scale or 1 to 10, um, you can control it with this range control, and it could be 1 to 2, 1 to 3, 1 to 6, or you could enter the value manually, and it could be 1 to 11 or 17. Let's stick with the 7 for this example. Um, another great thing about the new rating system is that you can upload your own SVG icon um, to use. So I'm going to click onto it over here, and let's add the album because this is a music blog. In our style section, we're going to give it some more size and spacing. Now, 
Another great thing is that you can set the um, value of your rating with a dynamic tag and an ACF integration. So I'm going to click into the ACF number fields and give it the rating that, um, that I wrote in to the ACF custom field. So that was the great new rating widget. Um, let's move on to the updates that we've included in the menu widget. So up until now, whenever you wanted to change a viewport, the menu would automatically minimize into a hamburger icon. Now this is great for responsive design, but there are also use cases where you might want to keep your menu um, um, in its original format and not have it minimize into your hamburger icon. So we're going to click into our menu into the header and then into the menu. Um, and now what you'll notice in 317 is that we've added in additional settings um, into the breakpoint over here where you would normally choose um, at what point do you want your menu to minimize into that icon. You can add none, which means that at no point will your menu minimize. Now, as you'll see, um, I've changed the tablet mode and the menu um, has not minimized into the icon. Now a lot of you are saying, well that's great, but it kind of broke my design, right? Well that's why we added the horizontal scroll. So instead of your menu breaking into two separate lines of, um, of menu items, you can enable horizontal scroll and this will allow visitors to scroll through your uh, menu items um, so they can see them at any viewport. Um, and access them. Again, this is all about design flexibility and allowing you to build the menu that's right for your website. So the last point I want to talk about today are the two new experimental features that will make your site even faster. Um, let's go into the features page in our WordPress admin to check them out. So the first one I want to talk about is the um, let's find it first, is the optimized image loading. Um, what this does is automatically detects the largest image in your viewport and it will give it priority when loading. And for the rest of the images, it will lazy load. Um, that means that it will be much more efficient when loading pages which are heavy on images with a five to 10% increase in the LCP core metric, which is just awesome. Uh, the second feature that we have is the optimized Gutenberg loading. What this does is uh, reduce redundant code um, that is automatically added to WordPress pages. Um, this works for pages that aren't built with Gutenberg. Um, it takes the code, uh, the Gutenberg code, out of the page so your code becomes lighter and the page is loaded more efficiently. So I hope you enjoyed this product demo. There are a lot more exciting features coming soon. If you have any questions, then leave them in the comment sections and we'll get back to you. And have a great day. And thanks for tuning in.